Hey guys, in today's video we have the Focus back in the shop and we're installing uh, Steeda lowering springs and adjustable end links. Fight for right, so this is the uh, front sway bar end link kit here and then the box of springs ready to go in. I think we're going to start with the rear since they're a little bit easier to do. Um, it's basically just drop down, put the new springs in, and you're good to go. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. Alright guys, so we have the wheel off, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on the back. Alright guys, as you can see from here, the uh, sway bar was removed. Um, you can go ahead and check out how to uh, install the sway bar on our other video. All the sand keeps falling. Yeah, I gotta get the mud flaps for the rear. be in the way. Ooh. It's now time for the front. So we have to take this whole wiper cowl off here, which involves taking this off and everything else off the front to get down here. So on this side, we're gonna go ahead and take off the eight millimeter that holds on the brake lines. Get that out of the way and basically just clear all this stuff up. Um, we're also replacing the end link here with the Steeda adjustable. All right guys, so with a 15 uh, open end here, ratcheting, you're gonna want to ratchet and make it easier. I've already went ahead and loosened this, and uh, but you're gonna need an Allen to hold this down in the center. And then this is gonna go ahead and take that off. But since I've already done it, Take this off. Take the bracket for your uh, sensor, which I've also already removed. That's just the one that goes down to the hub here. All you gotta do is press this down and pull up. And then this just rolls out of that bracket. But for now, we're just gonna set this down out of the way. I loosen this up here. That's the one bolt that holds, that pinches this in. Um, I'm, do you have any like sheet metal? Like thin sheet metal. This will make that a lot easier in the future. Like something to wedge it in? Yeah, to get this out a lot easier, you're going to want to stick a. Because um, in the pinch right here, it's a friction basically. And if you stick a, a, a sheet in between them, you can get the bolt to push them apart. 
this bolt here, you can push it back in and it'll separate it and then make this whole thing easy to come out. And we can just put the new one in. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get the top off. Is it going down? Yes. Good. So how to get that out the easy way, reverse thread it into the back here, which isn't going to hurt anything, right up to the piece of metal you can get in and push it apart. Easiest way. All right, when, uh, when you put this back on your car, these are not the same distance. So the side with the bumps right here need to go um, towards your engine. So towards your engine on both sides for all of the holes to line up. It doesn't have those stupid ball bearings that uh, the Mustangs do. I would I would decompress it the way with it on there. <sighs> yeah, pro tip: decompress the spring with it still on the strut because if it slips or somehow, then it's number one, it's still there. Number two, it'll shoot up instead of towards you. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. We can do it. Yeah, this is why Anthony's the He-Man, because we can do the Mustang Springs. We can uh, do that, so we don't have to compress them. Yeah. Apparently, the apparently the Focus Springs are the same.
So what we did uh, as of right now is we just did the stock length. Um, ideally, you want to put full weight on the car, as in all four tires on the ground, and the uh, the sway bar should be parallel to the ground yeah, for the proper setting. So this will actually be up higher for now. It'll it'll the sway bar will sit up for now. Um, actually, sorry, it'll sit down for now because it's too long. Um, but Anthony's gonna get an alignment here soon, so we can just align it while it's on yeah. the alignment rack. These will fix the. Front. Now I have to get the part to fix the back still. That'll probably be a different episode, but and then we'll go ahead and get the alignment. And um, every time you lower a vehicle, you change the the suspension geometry of the vehicle. Um, like independent rear suspension cars, like Anthony's, um, you'll you'll have uh, more negative camber in the rear as well. Unlike the Mustangs, any of the the 2014 and older ones are. Uh, solid rear axle so it doesn't change but uh, we should have some negative camber on the front as well the, the factory needs work if, like anyway like the the way the focus comes from the from ford it it, it sits and wears tires out a lot faster so you should ideally get the car and go get the the rear adjustable suspension component Yep. So when we when we take off the other ones, I'll show you. There's there's a, a smooth side of the triangle, a smooth side, and then there's bumps on the back one side. The bumps have to go towards the center of the car. Okay. Because it's not an equal distance between them. So we'll go ahead and show that. Um, now we'll go ahead and tighten these down. Uh, what size? 15s as well. Ford Focus Registry, 10. So here it all is installed. Everything's ready to go back. Um, got the um, brake lines reattached. The sensors plugged back in here. Uh, ready to go. The um, that's all down. All tight. And ready for the wheel to go back on. I do need to swap out my rotors again, but not today. Right, and here we are, we just put the car back down on the ground. As you can see, it needs to settle down a bit. But, it should be interesting to see where they sit.
right, guys, so that's it for this episode of Adline Garage. We have now raised Anthony's car. Um, it is now an inch and a half higher. No, I'm just kidding. No, um, springs have to settle a little bit. Um, overall, it was a pretty easy install. Um, but, yeah, uh, so uh, I guess we'll do probably an update in some other video. Uh, we might do, like, a driving reaction video or something just to see how the car stiffens up. But uh, until next time, uh, please like this video, comment if you have any questions or concerns or want to just say hi, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. So uh, we'll see you next time.